So folks, as you can imagine, uh, it's quite important these days to create uh, online events. And it's sometimes a little bit tricky because you look at some of these uh, webinar softwares. Uh, I know that I looked at all the webinar softwares when I started and, and there's two problems with them. Um, not that there's anything wrong with them. Uh, the first is that it seems quite complicated to get everything all rigged up and geared up, uh, ready to go. Um, seems like you have to have a lot of tools and resources and uh, I'm going to show you, uh, I think, a little bit of a simplistic way that I do it. Um, and number two, the pricing is quite high. Um, it's quite dramatic how much the webinar softwares charge. Um, and this isn't necessarily a way of doing webinars. It's more of doing a live stream and keeping the costs fairly low. So um, this software in front of me is called Zoom. Uh, for those who don't know about it, you can go to zoom.com. I believe that you need a pro account to do this, which is priced at $11.99 a month. Um, but um, I think you could potentially do it for a free account, but we'll cover that near the end. So the way that you do it is you go ahead and press new meeting. Now, obviously this starts a brand new meeting. You can see me here. I'll just take the, uh, actually I won't take the thing away. So I've got the, the San Francisco as my background. So the way that uh, you can do it is you should have an extra option called more when you've signed up to pro. And if you press live um, on custom uh, live stream, um, obviously there's a live to YouTube button here, but I'm going to show you it's a little bit of a tweak around to do it. So you can go ahead and press this live button. So as you can see, this live stream sort of option comes up and and this is for the custom service. So all you have to do is go to this live streaming area on YouTube. You can find it on studio.youtube.com. Then go over to um, manage um, and there should be an option to do an event. So you can schedule this one for later. So for example, if I put that on for the 24th tomorrow and I gave it a title, um, for example, it could be uh, example. Let's just call this one example. You can add description, all the regular stuff you would add on a YouTube video. So you could add it to gaming or film and details. Make sure you submit the the made for kids thing. You can also upload a thumbnail as well, which can be fairly easy to do. So once you've got all that information added, you go ahead and create the stream. So obviously it won't go live straight away. And uh, there are some instructions to take you through it. but. The best way to do this is to see what this wants. So the streaming URL. So the streaming URL is down here. If I go ahead and copy this and paste it inside of here, I can also go ahead and copy the stream key. And as you can see, that's what they need, the stream key. And finally, they just need the URL that it's gonna be posted on. You can't find that typically here. You have to go back out of this and you can see there's an example one. You have to go to get shareable link and uh, you can go ahead and, and uh, go live there. So what that does is that prepares in the background um, and what you should see is basically the Zoom connect up with the YouTube live. So it will take a few seconds, um, normally up to 30 seconds um, and it should sort of update this page. Um, and of course, that's going to be your landing page. You haven't gone live yet, but you can see me there. Um, I'm all live. It gives you the excellent connection, what streaming health you have, um, and anything you need to change as well. So if you wanted to go live, obviously, um, if I go ahead and paste that YouTube uh, URL we have, it says down here it's going to go live in 24 hours. So obviously, that person watching it can set the reminder. Um, but they can also, you can also go live straight away using that link and naturally you will go live. Now the things that are notable with this as well is that uh, when you're watching this now, you will be a couple of seconds behind naturally. And also in the bottom right hand corner there, you will see a Zoom logo and that's because you are utilizing the software here. Now, if I go and end the meeting, it will end the live stream connection. And obviously you should see this drop out uh, and offer obviously the the available. Um, so if I, if you, there we go, you could see there, it's only a preview now. There's no data, no connection. And 
through here you can also see the live chats. Now I'll show you a few things that you can do inside of the Zoom settings to make it a little bit easier and this might be useful for those who are first timers. What I did was I went to settings and uh, what you'll need to do, um, and I actually found this out by uh, <laughs> actually eventually doing it, um, is go all the way down here and as you can see um, you have to enable allow live streaming meetings. If you have that unabled it won't appear inside of your Zoom when you go and create one and make sure you have the custom live streaming settings set up as well. Now of course that um, I believe only appears in the free account. I will just double check for you. So I don't think you actually need to have a, a account for this one um, specifically. So you could just, for example, use this in the free account. But some of the things that I wanted to show you is, for example, let's say you go ahead and start that live stream up. You can still go ahead and share screen and even demonstrate as you're doing on YouTube, the whiteboard, your iPhone plugged in through cable and AirPlay and any other screens that you have, as well as a portion of your screen, computer sound only, and content from a second ca camera. So that's really beneficial. And this is the way that I go about doing doing live YouTube live. So I will demonstrate what that exactly looks like. So if you go to the YouTube channel, um, the latest one that I did was, so this is the sort of product at the end. As you can see, I was demonstrating a, um, a, 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 a as you can see here, I was demonstrating a, a presentation that I was doing. And as you can see, the image was stable up in the top right hand corner, which was perfect. That can all be modified as well, but it made the experience a lot easier to be able to manage. So over the last month, I've actually been using these quite a lot and I do recommend trying it out. It's a really simple way. I've just plugged my microphone in and um, that's all you need really to go. Obviously a webcam if you want to add in the the video formats but it's it's incredible how it works and incredibly simple how you can get it set up hopefully that was useful please do let me know uh, on email francesco at keep productive if you have any uh questions but thank you very much and hopefully this was helpful